Hey, Steve, how are you? Hey, good afternoon, Daylon. Good afternoon, man. How are you? Good. How's it there in Doral? How's the, how's the traffic out there? With the it's getting, it's getting heavy again. It's getting heavy again, I'll bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess everybody's out now. Right. That traffic, that Doral traffic. Oh, my God. And I was enjoying while everybody was at home now. <laughs> it's back to heavy traffic. That's brutal. Uh, how's everything over there? Good. Good, all good. Um, we have a, um, I didn't post it, uh, the graphic yet up there, but we have a special guest, uh, just so you guys know, on, on uh, Tuesday is going to be a viral video. Um, it's, uh, they do uh, video marketing to your database for realtors, especially for realtors, only realtors. So viral, viral video, that's a yeah. company? Yeah, viral marketing, they're called. Viral marketing, yep. And it's viral with a Y. I'm going to post a link in the chat when everybody comes. Awesome. I'm, I'm, happy I'm Friday. Gonna, um, happy Friday, everyone. Yeah, happy Friday. Hey, Carol. Hey there. Happy f Friday to, to everyone. Happy Thank Friday, you. Esther. When I'm talking to you people, I don't know what language to use to talk to you, Steve. <laughs> I know. Um, Friday, maybe we should talk money. Let's yeah, talk for, money. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> payday. That's the universal language, right? Yeah, Friday payday. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. Um, for those of you that just are just joining, hi, Kamal, uh, Maria, Diane. I was just telling Daylon that um, on Tuesday, we have a special guest, John McMillan from uh, Viral Marketing, Viral with a Y. And I'm going to post a link in the chat here in a minute. They have a uh, whole marketing, downloadable marketing plan that we're going to go over for realtors to do video marketing to your database with your phone. So to use this, do video marketing to your database and build your pipeline that way. And they've been doing this for quite a while. They got a lot of success. And uh, I've been watching them for a while. And uh, we talked uh, last week and agreed to uh, let them co-host uh, one of our, our trainings. Um, so I'm gonna do that on Tuesday. And then on uh, Thursday, I'm gonna do uh, YouTube marketing, YouTube video, uh, YouTube for lead generation. Okay. So it's going to be video next week, video marketing mostly. What time is on Tuesday? You guys change the time from 10, it's always, 11, 1. It, it's always 11 o'clock on Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, 11, okay. 11 on Tuesday and Thursday, yeah. This one is always 1 o'clock on Friday, and then on Monday it's 10 o'clock. Ah, okay. It's a little confusing, I know. So I'm the one who, who forgot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can't forget that's right in your name well that, that's why i forgot <laughs> you can't forge <laughs> can't forget forge <laughs> we're keeping forget. you guys uh, on, on your toes yeah <laughs> <laughs> but the, the worst part the husband who gave me the name forgot forgot he gave me the name <laughs> oh okay yeah he forgot <laughs> i had to call him back come come back you gave me that name forget well, it <laughs> you stayed you, you got it you got it pretty good you should see the name i gave my wife oh my goodness <laughs> what's yours majestic it's majeski but it's spelled uh i shorten it for 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 this but it's actually a long polish oh, really? <laughs> all kind of letters mashed up together yeah wow <laughs> But we pronounce it Majeski. Majeski, okay. That's good. Hi, Sierra. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Hi, Carol. Are you calling Diane Carroll? 
Uh, no, that's a different Carol. There's another Carol oh, here. Oh, okay. She's, um, uh, new to our broker. There she is. Hi, Carol. Hi there. She is new to Broker Nation, and we've been working with her with Chime and everything. And uh, yes, okay. Getting her up to speed. There's I Anna. I still gotta Hi, get Anna. Chime. Chime is not allowing me to to see Hi. my landing page. It doesn't give me an option to create it. I go straight to Sammy's. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you're still having problems this afternoon, call my cell phone. Okay. And if there's anything I can do to help. Because um, I went to the office yesterday and I, I thought that we could figure it out there. My, um, Mike Diego was helping me as well. But it's, it's something, I guess, with the setup. It doesn't give me the option to create it at all. So okay. I'll, I'll reach out to you afterwards. Yeah, reach out. It might be something simple. Maybe I can help. Okay, thank you. Thank you. A few people joining us here. Yeah, let's give it one more minute and then we'll we'll start. My amazing wife and the brains of our operation, Flois, is on. Awesome. <laughs> she, um, uh, for those of you that didn't uh, were, or weren't able to join us on um, Thursday, yesterday, we had a great. Um, it went it went over our time. It went to two hours, it but it was an hour good. and a half of Instagram lead generation. Very um, good. And uh, Flois is uh, somewhat of an Instagram marketing expert. She's been doing it for quite a while. She has a few channels. She's built up audiences. She has her own brand. And so she was fielding the questions while I was doing running through a presentation uh, that I prepared with uh, mostly a slide deck. And we also had Will Bernal. Uh, Will was able to uh, jump in and he's had uh, some success that led He's been doing Instagram marketing. He uh, turns out has a marketing background himself and he has some deals that he's closed in the last um, couple of months that he says he attributes directly to what he's been doing on Instagram. So he joined us too. So it was a really good one yesterday. If, if any of you missed it and you want the, um, the recording for it, drop me an email. I'm um, giving out the recording by request only. So uh, so hit me up, steve at brokernation.net. Any of you that didn't catch it, um, it was a Zoom event, so it's all fully recorded. And uh, even the chats and everything are there. Uh, Flois was um, answering a lot of good questions in the chat. So there was a lot of good, uh, good stuff that she was dropping there too. And Kamal, I almost forgot Kamal. Kamal chimed in. Uh, he's a, a SEO expert actually, and uh, he was a part of it too. I come off. He's on this call. Hey, if they wanna, if they wanna see the recording, uh, how can I, how can they get it, Steve? A uh, good question. Thanks, Daylon. I'm. I give out the recordings by request only. I don't make it public. It's not for everybody. We started doing this just for our internal agents at Broker Nation Real Estate. Uh, but a year and a half ago, we opened it up to all Miami realtors. So uh, I still, um, it's still a, a little bit. Uh, uh, secret information, if you will. So I do it by request. Uh, I'll give it to any of you guys that, that ask, uh, but I don't put it out there publicly on a landing page or anything. I do it by request only. So you got to email me, steve at brokernation.net. I'm going to drop it in the chat. Awesome. Okay, good. Quest. And is there like an archive where you have to ask for, like, let's say that they want to see the last couple of weeks? Or... Uh, there's an archive for our internal agents. If you're an external agent, hit me up and I'll... Um, I do it by request only, yeah. Awesome. awesome. Okay. If you're All a broker right. nation agent, let me know and I'll give you, you know, the full archive of everything. Beautiful, Steve. All right, so I see we got a few more uh, joining us today. So um, let's go ahead and start. Um, so I want to welcome everybody to Real Estate Friday. We're super excited that you're here with us uh, for, for today's training. And I wanted to talk to you guys uh, about something that perhaps is a problem uh, nowadays. And uh, it's a problem and it's not a problem. It all depends how you look at it. For example, as you can see, you probably agree with me, there's a lot of buyers now in the market, right? Interest went down. People are, being, are able to get the properties are very, uh, very low interest rate. And that creates a lot of opportunities. But another problem or problem that we're having is that there's no inventory. You probably agree with me on that one. So when you start looking at the MLS, you see a lot of a lot of listings either expired or a lot of uh, uh, listings that were active that were taken out of the market. So that's a problem that a lot of us are dealing with right now. So today I wanted to talk to you about how to solve that issue. And 
and this is specifically to a niche that we can we have in our real estate market that that has to do with expired listings. Now there is a technique on how to work with expired listings, how to acquire more more listings of this type, and it's all and it, and all has to do with taking a unique approach to in, to an expired listings. Now when we say expired listings, we all have uh, our own opinions about working with expired. They're the, the one uh, that most of us or most obvious uh, natures of real estate uh, that we're familiar with, yet also one of the most despised. Now, why is that? And how can you as a real estate agent conquer them? So let's, let's keep an open mind on this because this is really interesting. And then at the end, you're going to see how we can tie everything together. And then you can solve a problem that it can also be a great opportunity for all of you. Now, simply put, expire listing for a percent failure. But why? Because they failed to sell. Now, the reasons why they failed are numerous, but blame typically falls on the listing agent. So naturally, expired owners tend to have a not so good view of real estate agents in general. On the flip side, the homeowner has tipped his or her hand by listing, they made it abundantly clear that they have a desire to sell their home. So we're clear on that. Additionally, they display a willingness to work with us agents. So that makes, this makes the owner of an expired listing the ideal lead. So that's there for us for the taking. So the moment they list, uh, uh, their listing expires, it becomes a magnet for other agents hoping to jump in and win the relisting for themselves. Now, selling expires, just like everything, there's a simple formula to it. And today I'm gonna to share that simple formula with you. So just like taking time to put yourself in a different position to win expire listings, it's very important to help expire listings stand out. So this is gonna help you not only get expired listings, but it's also gonna help you sell them. Now, before we continue, and let's, let's keep our mind open on this one. For example, right now you have buyers that you're working with, and, and perhaps you're working with a lot of buyers now because of the opportunity of the interest rate. Now you're having issues with inventory, but it's just like your spouse is asking you to go to the grocery store and they give you a list. Now you know what to go and buy for them. With buyers, the same thing happens. Let's say you're working with a, with a buyer right now and they're looking to buy in the uh, North Miami area or Hialeah or Homestead. You already know what area, the type of property you're looking for, the uh, description of the property. So you already have this information. What is it that we have to do now to solve this issue? Well, we already have the list, right? It's like having a grocery list. Now it's a matter of just going and finding that property. Now, when we go out and find in the MLS, we usually go and look for properties that are active. What if, and think about this, what if you look for properties that expire in that market and you tackle them? You go and you find ways that you can reach out to this expire listings and not just expire listings. How about listings that were active at one point and then the, the listing agent decided to take it out of the market because of the COVID-19. So because of precautions, this listing we're taking out of the market. Now you have properties that you can go after. Now the expired ones represent a bigger opportunity. Why? Because as I mentioned before, they, they are great leads that you can show them how not only uh, you can stand out from the crowd of agents, but also how you can be the one to solve the problem, which is selling your home. Now, that represents a great, again, a great opportunity. I'm repeating myself on this one because I don't know if you see this, but it's like, it's like um, now, and a lot of you, I'm pretty sure uh, agree with me, on, with me on this one, but a lot of us want to be a transaction broker when you're dealing in a sell. Why? Because you want to represent a buyer and you have the possibility of representing a seller. That's the beauty of it. Now, as I mentioned, there's a simple formula to this. Now, this formula means that there are a few steps or simple steps that you can take today to help these homes sell without haggling over price. And I'm going to show you how, and I'm going to give you four steps, simple steps that you can follow today. Number one, improve the showing condition of the home. And mind you, the same information I'm giving you is, is I'm going to show you how you can sell this expired homes, but also how you can explain it to the seller how you can do this. So number one, improve the showing condition of the home. Even without a full staging, a home in good showing condition will sell for more than it would have otherwise. 
And I'm gonna share with you guys right now, if you give me a second, a, uh, a link to an information that was shared by NAR. So let me, uh, let me see where I can put this. I'm gonna put it in the chat and then you can see it uh, when you get a, a moment. Let me just copy this and paste. There you go. So, so like I said, even without a full stage in a home, a home in good condition can sell without uh, for for more or otherwise without having to stage it. But check out that document that I just put in there. It's published by NAR about the effects of home staging, and uh, it's uh, it's very lengthy. So go ahead and, and read it over. There's a lot of good information there that you can implement when you're dealing with expires or just selling regular homes. Number two, it will be to improve the marketing. So that means that you have to take better pictures, right? Better descriptions of the property. Professional photography uh, makes a big difference. The uh, perception that owners have over a real camera is far better than your phone. So no matter how good your, your phone may be, you gotta do a full marketing analysis, you know, take your camera, take your equipment, do a full marketing analysis to uncover opportunities other agents missed. And this one is one of them. A lot, of, a lot of us tend to go to a listing, we grab, we have the listing, and then we take the pictures with our phone. We don't take the time to go with a professional camera. If you own one, great. If not, we can probably invest a little bit of money in getting the right um, uh, marketing on the property. So you got to find unique features that you can highlight to attract interested buyers. And again, this is something that you can explain to the seller uh, what you're going to do for them, and that's going to be the difference between you and the previous agent. Number three solve problems holding back a cell. So that means that you gotta be a problem solver. You got limited hours you can do showings. Well, nowadays, not only we have limited hours, but also we have to be uh, very, we have to use precautions when showing a property. So how about we host uh, an engaging open house virtually? With Zoom, now you can probably, and, and using the same uh, system that we use uh, with Eventbrite, you can probably put out there that you're gonna do an open house from this hour to this hour, and you can host it uh, virtually via via Zoom with different buyers, or put it out there for other uh, brokers open, and you can do everything with uh, via Zoom or any other platform that you might be familiar with. So you gotta bring a flood of buyers, and that's the idea. And if you do it that at once, you might be able to get a more a better exposure of the property. So coming up with a creative solution to troublesome issues will give you an edge of the agent. Number four, and the last one will be to communicate with sellers uh, every step of the way. Remember, it's better to sometimes over communicate than no communication at all. So show the owners you're thinking, uh, you're thinking outside the box. Explain to them what you're doing differently. Be open, be honest, and let them see you working for them. As if you have won the listing, you have to work through the steps to be able to get the listing sold. So with this tactics or suggestions, you will not only be able to win expired listings, but you will be able to, or you will be selling expired listings as well. And that's the idea of today's topic is that solve a problem, but at the same time, how can you be a rock star in today's market working, especially with expires? Now, let me ask you this. Have you, have any of you uh, here with us today have any of you worked with expired listings before? If you haven't, this is a good opportunity because I'm sorry. We have uh, Esther is saying, uh, yes, she has. She has, okay. And what was your experience, if you don't mind sharing, Esther? Okay, before COVID or after COVID? <laughs> um, before, before, after, before, before, because after I've been in quarantine here for, well, I forget for how long. So before COVID, um, the reception, it could be the material I had that was not too hot, uh, because I would send a lot. The, the best thing about it is to be consistent. And um, I kind of uh, not consistent when it comes to that. After, uh, so many hundreds and then I just stop. But I think the best thing is to, that's a numbers game. The more you sell, I guess, so for every 100, you might have one. So I think it's a, it's a numbers uh, game and it's a matter of 
been consistent as well. Uh, I'm not a good example for it. Um, but there might be other people who have better experience with it because I don't work it the way I should have. Right, and I thank you so much for sharing that. But um, the the idea with expires is like like I said at the beginning is finding uh, an opportunity in the market that you can solve a problem. The problem that I'm having right now is that I have a lot of buyers looking to buy. They qualify, they're ready to go, but it's finding the right home. And when I look in the MLS, there's really nothing to uh, to show them, or it's not the house that they want, or so we're looking at a specific area. So then I thought, okay. So what if I go after expired listings? How many properties didn't sell in the last couple of months? Uh, and I go back as far as 90 days. How many properties haven't sold in the last 90 days? And then let me see the reason why. And I have found out that a lot of them has been because of the COVID-19, they don't know what was going on. So now that gave me an opportunity to be in front of them and to be an educator for them. Like show them how the market is moving and why it's a good uh, idea to sell now. And then it allows me to even show them the numbers what's going on in the market, how they can make more money. Uh, actually, now in the market, the reason why, because there's a lot of uh, more buyers uh, ready, willing, and able. So again, that allows me, that gave me an opportunity to be in front of them. And, and not only that, but it also allowed me to send like marketing materials to them. So usually what I do is I do put together uh, a packet. I have, I have books that I have that, that I have that I also send it to them and then I follow up with a call. Or if I'm in the area and look with my buyer, I, I go and I knock on the door. So again, it's being proactive and finding ways that you can think outside the box and being fun. Now, we do have other sources, like we have the tools, we have Chime, we have our websites, we have landing pages, we have squeeze pages. So you can put all this stuff to work and, and, and uh, put in, in autom uh, automate all this, all this uh, marketing effort to be able to reach out to people that, that again, they're great leads, because they were trying to sell their properties at one point, but for some reason they failed. And nobody likes to feel like a failure. So they gotta figure it out. What can they do to be able to sell their home again? And guess what? We're doing the work and we're putting positioning ourselves to be able to win this expires. You will win this expires. So those are the information I wanted to share with you today. Those are the four simple steps um, that I had down for you not only to communicate that with, uh, with the sellers but also how to get this home uh, sold so uh, just to recap number one was to improve the, the showing condition of the home number two improve the marketing number three solve problems holding back the sell and lastly communicate with the sellers every step of the way if you have any questions feel free to reach out uh, to me on any of this or, or any suggestions that I that we can help you with uh, my name is Dalan Rubido. For those of you that don't know me, I'm the real estate broker in the Doral office. We do have uh, another office in North Miami. We have two offices and we have a, uh, a satellite office in Carl Spring as well. So that means that we're here for you. Anything you need. Uh, we do have a marketing director. A lot of you, uh, if not all of you know, know him already. His name is Steve Jeske. He's with us every Tuesday and Thursday showing you exactly how to promote yourself, how to build your brand. And next week, we're having a great week on, on this training because he's gonna be covering um, video marketing on Tuesday and also uh, YouTube uh, marketing on Thursday. Steve, you wanna elaborate on that a little bit? Yes, thank you, Daylon. And uh, I wanted to mention too, anyone that would like a recording of this, um, just email me at steve at brokernation.net. I do it by request. Um, any broker nation agents, uh, everything and everything is available to you, you guys. Uh, for those of you that are not in broker nation, I will make uh, uh, the recordings of our uh, Zoom trainings and everything available by request only. So I don't, I don't make it public, it's by request only. Uh, but I'd be more than happy to share. Uh, this is for you, it's for real estate agents and we make it free to all Miami realtors. Now on Tuesday, uh, for those of you that don't know, every Tuesday and Thursday, um, as Daylon said, I'm uh, the marketing guy. And I do um, every Tuesday, Thursday trainings on marketing, digital marketing, lead generation, branding, and um, uh, what else? Video marketing, Facebook, Instagram. We did an Instagram yesterday. Um, anything having to do with digital marketing and um, all that fun stuff that I do. Uh, now, e uh, next week, it's going to be video week. So on Tuesday, I have a very special guest, John McMillan. 
He's the uh, co-founder of a company called Viral Marketing with a Y, Viral with a Y. I put a link in the chat to them and they have a uh, marketing plan for realtors that you can take a look at what, they're, what they do and, and how, what their strategy is. I agree with their strategy, so uh, otherwise I wouldn't be presenting it to you guys. It's right in lockstep with what I've been teaching our real estate agents. And uh, you can go and download it, check it out, and we're going to be walking through that on Tuesday. He's going to be taking us through that, through the strategy, through how to use video to reach out to your database and get more referrals. It's, it, their strategy is a, really a referral-based strategy. It's staying in touch with your database, um, your SOI, through uh, the use of video. And, and they have some, some really great um, ways that they do it. Of course, they're a company that, that you can outsource to them and pay them to do it. Um, and they do it for real estate agents all over the country with your own phone. So they, they teach you how to use this thing and, to, and stay in touch with your database through video just with this. And then on Thursday, we're gonna re, be uh, doing another episode of YouTube marketing for realtors, YouTube for realtors. I get a lot of requests for this. I'm very bullish on video, as you know. A lot of experts are, a lot of marketing people are, the Tom Ferries of the world, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, are real uh, bullish on video and so am I. And I'm, we're gonna talk about why why all the opportunity that there is for lead generation um, in YouTube, YouTube marketing. So um, that's kind of two different approaches. Uh, Tuesday is going to be more ref for referrals and, um, you know, kind of staying in touch and staying in front of your audience, word of mouth. And then Thursday is going to be more about reaching new audiences through YouTube. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing, Dale. I'm excited about it next week. Awesome, man. So I, I look forward to that. And uh, I mean, I can't wait. It's going to be interesting. So thank you so much, Steve, for putting that together. Is anybody, if anybody has any questions about any of the trainings that, we, that we've had, um, as for the recording, if you still want to reach out to us, ask any questions, we're here for you. Again, this is completely free. Our goal is to help you uh, grow your business, uh, excel, and do more, and be better, and build your brand. Uh, that's the idea. I know this, build your brand so you can have a bigger, uh, a bigger business. So um, again, thank you so much for staying engaged with us. Uh, stay tuned, go to brokernation.events. Again, that's www.brokernation.events and keep up with every training that we're doing. Every single day there's something. So you know the time, you know uh, the title, you know what we're doing, what's coming up, why not. So stay tuned with us. So www.brokernation.events. So I hope everybody has a great, uh, a great Friday, uh, an awesome weekend, and I look forward to seeing you on Monday or Mindset Monday. All right, guys, enjoy your day, and thank you so much for staying with us. Wait for the camera so you can see if you can take a picture of us. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. That's right. Thank you. Bye. Oh, that's beautiful. Really? Mm -hmm.